The Rainier Racing Museum held its grand reopening tonight at the Mountain Arts Center in Prestonsburg, and one of the dignitaries present was three-time Daytona 500 winner and racing legend Bobby Allison, who was a driver for Rainier Racing. I think this is just so neat. I'm telling you, you know, Harry Rainier really contributed to NASCAR racing. You know, for me first and then for my son Davey, uh, but did so many good things along the way and had good equipment and, and won races and all those good things. And then to have a museum this nice right here at his original home, uh, I just think is really super. I asked Allison about his bond with Rainier Racing and what made it so special. Well, Harry was just so enthusiastic, you know, and he insisted on good equipment and good looking equipment, which really was close to my feeling toward the whole thing. You know, there were a few teams didn't care much about the appearance of the equipment and didn't, didn't really uh, get into the rest of the stuff, just go race and, and try to win the race. But, but Harry wanted the whole thing to be good looking and professional and effective and, and he worked hard and, and he produced that. The Rainier Racing Museum is open during regular MAC operating hours, and now through September, you can check out the 1988 Texaco Havoline Ford Thunderbird, driven by Davey Allison, on loan from the International Motorsports Hall of Fame in Talladega. Reporting for EKB News, I'm Jackson Latta.